Okay, in this tutorial we're going to have a, another look at lights, um, or controlling lights with blueprints. And again, we're just going to use a simple blueprint level for this. Uh, let's just play this. So what we have here is just um, a, a light that when we enter a certain area, the light goes on. We come out of that area, the light goes off. Okay. So it's an automatic kind of light switch. So let's look how we can create this. I'm just going to go into my level blueprints again and just delete what we've got. And just go into my scene. And what I'll first of all do is just uh, click on my view mode and set it to unlit, just so we can see what's going off in the scene a little better. So what we're going to use for this is a trigger box. So we have here a volume trigger, uh, which we're going to use. You can see this is sort of the area of this little part of the room. We're going to use that so when we enter that trigger area, that's going to switch the light on. When we come out of that area, it's going to switch the light off. So we're using this light here, which uh, is named Light Main, and that's the light that we're going to control. This, uh, within this tutorial, um, there are several ways we could control the light. If you've watched the light flicker, we were controlling the intensity. This time, we're going to be switching this light on and off. So if we just go down, we have this visible. That's not going to do anything right now. If we just go back into lit mode, you'll be able to see. Let's click that light on and off. So that's what we're going to use for this one. Okay. I will just switch that uh, visibility off for now. So that when we first go into that volume area, that's going to switch that on. The volume area, by the way, the volume trigger, if you just go to volumes, down the bottom we have this trigger volume. So I've just dragged that in and then resized it to the right size. Uh, I've also given that a name of trigvol underscore light. So let's get started. I'm going to go into the blueprints and open the level blueprint on there. And I've just, I've docked that in here. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, we need our reference to our light and we also need some way to see that we're going to this trigger volume. So I've got the light selected. I'm going to right click and we're going to create a reference to the light. So I can use that within our blueprint. Remember, this is just a reference to an actor uh, within our level. Let's go back to our level, and I'm going to click on this Trigvol light as well. And then black in our, uh, back in our blueprint, rather. Uh, I'm going to right-click, and if we look at the top, we have this Add Event for Trigvol light, which is our trigger volume. If I twirl that down, I'm going to Collision, we have uh, this add-on actor begin overlap. We also have this add-on actor end overlap as well. So when we go into the trigger volume and when we leave the trigger volume. So I'm going to grab both of these. Okay. So what other nodes do we need? Well, we need to control the um, visibility of the light. So I'll show you one way first of all, which is kind of a long way around. Let's right click and let's, or oh, oh, we can make it context sensitive. Uh, let's drag out from here and let's just uh, type invisible. Now this is a check actually. Uh, we can see if it is visible is, is a check to see if it is switched on or off. What I'm going to do is um, do a set visible a set visibility, and then we have a point light component. Oops. Let's bring this up. So here we have our set visibility. We've got our target, which is our point light, and then we have this new visibility, which is a checkbox. Um, we're talking about color coding in the Flickr tutorial. So we're saying that um, green is a float, we have white which is our executables, blues are our objects or our actors, and red are boolean values. So um, a boolean value, for those who haven't done any programming before, has two states. It's either on or off, zero or one. So currently this is set to off. 
if we were doing this to switch the light on, we just need to check to make that active. So all I can do with that is now uh, we need to execute this so we can come out from our begin overlap and click into there. Okay, and then we can compile that and let's just test this. Let's press play. And there we go. We go into it and it switches on. Obviously when we come out right now, it doesn't do anything. And that's because we haven't set up our end overlap. So, if we to set the end overlap, we need a new set visibility. Now we can use the same one, so we can use, or we can uh, make a copy of this. So I'm going to cl click on this one. Let's go down here. Let's do a Control W. It's the same target, so I'm going to drag in that target into there. This time our visibility is going to be off, and this one is going to be executed from our end overlap. Okay. So let's compile this, and let's play. And there we go, it's working. Okay, so that's one way we can do that. There is a different way we can do this. Let's go back to our blueprint. And I'm going to do something slightly different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this set visibility. Let's get rid of this. And instead, we're going to use something else. So we have another node which we can call toggle visibility. We have our toggle visibility point light component. So this is kind of going to do what we we're doing before but in one node. So what this is going to do is basically say if the light is on then switch it off, if it's off then switch it on. Uh, you see there's nothing else in there it will just do this so it's kind of setting our boolean value for us. So with this one, we don't need anything else. We can just trigger this off because it's, you know, it's checking what state it's in and doing the opposite. So we can actually trigger off this off from both of our execution nodes. So click on that, and let's drag this out as well and click into the same one. So we're doing exactly the same thing, but with just one node. Okay. So let's compile this, and let's go in. And again, let's just play this. So switch on, switch off. Okay. So much neater. Doing exactly the same thing, but using less nodes to actually create that. So that's just the end of this uh, quick tutorial on using the trigger volume to switch on a light.